Dave, that was a pretty extraordinary way to finish the game. What was your understanding of what happened with Bernard Foley um, and Paul Thomas? Um, yeah, I mean, I spoke to Bernard after the game, so... Um, yeah, he was under the impression that time was off. Uh, the referee told him to play. Um, but at no stage did he, or was he told, or did he believe that he was going to call a scrum from that? Um, I mean, most situations, the clock's off and the clock stays off. So it sounds like the clock went off and then he started it again. Um, but as we know, you know, team scores a try late and you take your time getting back to halfway, they just stop the clock and wait till you kick off. So, yeah, this point thing from our point of view is a fantastic game of footy and we should be celebrating the game as opposed to talking about a ref uh, decision in the last minute. Do you feel that that call essentially cost you the win? Well, we were leading prior to that, weren't we? Had possession, kick to touch, our line, our throw. So we're in a strong position to hang on from there. Have you ever seen something like that, Dave, in a game like that? No. I haven't seen a decision like that at any level. Did you know it was a rule? I mean, was it something you were aware of that was... You know, was it kind of, does it ever come across your path at all? Oh, you know, so the rule book's uh, complex, in it? I'm sure there's something in there somewhere uh, that is never reffed upon, so... Um, yeah, oh, look, it's an incredibly disappointing way to finish because, you know, down 31-13, uh, 13 players, we showed a huge amount of character to come back into that game and then get our nose in front. Um, you know, so to, to lose it in that fashion, uh, yeah, massively disappointing and, uh, you know, the boys are in the change room and they're hurting. It's, uh, it's a tough one. Pardon me? Yeah, yeah, standard. James, as captain, what do you say to the group after that? Do you need to work at this stage or just hurt? Well, as Ren said, the boys are just gutted. That's probably the biggest thing. There's, uh, I don't think there's much chat going on in there. Um, and I'm sure we'll get together as a group after this and we'll talk about it. But at the moment, uh, yeah, there's a lot of silence and and um, you know the, the the yeah I guess the disappointing thing is we're we're <coughs> a bit of a sour taste in our mouth. You know it was a good game, it was a cracker, great crowd. Um, you know right to the wire and yeah, it just it just feel I just feel unfulfilled. It's a bit weird, yeah. So have you ever seen a game end like that across your career? Well, I've played 120 odd tests and I've never seen it and. It'd be interesting if that would be the call at you know ten minutes into the game, same thing. But and then today he made a call. Did you know the call gets made in a World Cup final? Oh, you'll have to ask someone else, mate. Did you know it was a rule? Yeah, well, there's yeah, you know you know the rules there. Um, yeah, there's plenty of rules that I I believe that aren't ruled on throughout the game. There's that many rules, mate. So. I think you've got to have a feel. You've got to have a feel for the game and, and the situation. And so if you feel a team's wasting time, stop the clock. And then they kick it out and then you play the game. Let the teams decide the outcome. So, um, oh, just a real lack of feel for the occasion. Dave, you also uh, mentioned some of those three yellow cards. Did you have any problems with any of them or did you agree with you? Um, no, no, not really. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not convinced about Darcy Swain's. It's certainly nothing intentional. And ironically, he got uh, neck rolled prior to him <laughs> cleaning out, but that wasn't picked up. So, um, yeah, I'll let the other ones are regarded as cynical. Fair enough. It's, uh, it's the way they see it. Oh, I thought he was sensational. Um, controlled the game really well. Um, you know, goal kicking was exceptional. Um, you know, he's just, you know, he's very confident. He gives a lot of confidence to people around him. Uh, good energy and a voice and a real positive mindset. You know, down 31-30, it's easy to, to start thinking it's going to be a, a tough finish to the game. But, you know, he kept um, encouraging us to play and 
and play the right part of the field. And um, so yeah, like I, I thought, uh, he had a big game. James, the uh, first scrum didn't go your way, but you must be delighted with what happened after that. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it was pleasing. The set piece, you know, we we came in with a focus on our set piece, and actually in the in the line out more, we struggled a little bit there. They got a bit of a ascendancy in the in the malls, but the scrum was. Yeah, you know, I think it was pretty, pretty even throughout the game. You know, we were under, under pressure at times, and and we got them as well. So, uh, yeah, it made it tough there when we we had a few yellow cards and um, we had to pull pe people in. But yeah, it was alright. Dave, was that 18 point comeback some of the best rugby this team has played in your tenure? Yeah, I think so because we were clinical. You know, we um, yeah, you're playing against the high quality side. And you know, thirty-one thirteen to get to get back on um, level pegging at um, thirty-four all uh, was a hell of an effort and a lot of high-quality footy. So you know, we managed to steal a bit of ball off, uh, ball off them during that period as well, which gave us penalties or field position. So um, yeah, look, you know, as I've said, it's just so disappointing to be. Talking about a decision made late in the game, as opposed to you know fantastic Friday or Thursday night footy. I can't remember what that is. Dave, result aside, what does that performance in that second half, the way you came back from 18 down, what does that do for the belief in the eating part? Yeah, oh, look, we'll we'll look our wounds. Um, oh, look, we can certainly take confidence from that, but uh, as you know, you got you got to back that up and. Uh, you know, it would have been nice to go to Auckland with a chance of coming away with some silverware. So uh, that's not the case, unfortunately. But uh, still a big game for us, and and uh, we'll front. So a couple of other players really, um, I guess, paid you back for their starting selections today, Andrew and Pete Samu. Could you talk about maybe both of those and what, what you felt in their performance? Yeah, I think Pete Sami has been one of our best players, even though he comes off the bench each week. He's he's been outstanding, and we've talked a number of times about starting him. But his impact is is excellent off the bench. Um, oh, we just felt you know, he's going to give us a bit more physicality, um, and he's got a game both sides of the ball. He was he was outstanding. Um, who's the other one you said? Kells. Yeah, and Kells. Yeah, look, he. Um, he obviously got over the line three times today, and one of them he didn't get down. But um, uh, he, he'll just get better and better at 15. He's um, he's a hell of a player. He's got a real complete skill set, and uh, it was nice to see him in a little bit of space today. Does that kind of open that up now for him through to World Cup because it's been a position <laughs> right too early to call? It? Yeah, oh, look, um, he wore the 15 tonight and he played well. The chance that he'll wear it again next week and. Yeah, we, all, we always talk about earning the right to play and and we'd like to stick and build some combinations and a um, couple of injuries uh, last game meant we couldn't do that but other people have stood up and taken their opportunities so uh, pleasing from that point of view. Uh, right, I'd have to get it scanned. I'm not too sure actually. I've never, never done a calf before so fingers crossed I'd love to play. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, look, he's he's a bit bewildered, to be honest, and shocked by the decision. Well, obviously, it's you know he's had a great performance and he feels like he's let people down. So, um, yeah, yeah. No, he's 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 gutted. Last couple of minutes. With all the injuries, you might not have chosen to, to make so many changes, but, but now that you have and you've seen the team go so well, is that sort of like a blessing in disguise? Um, yeah, look, you know, we've been creating depth and uh, we've had so many injuries that a lot of guys have got opportunities to play, so, you know, you're always looking for positives out of that. Um, yeah, I'll look, um, the job of the players is to try and put pressure on us through performance and and certainly um, a lot of guys are really stood up tonight so that was pleasing. Anything else? Thanks guys. Cheers guys. Thanks, guys.